Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Want to do a video today on how to get that uh, typewriter effect going on in uh, Caden Live and a couple of useful things to know regarding titles. So I'm just gonna pop open a folder of clips that I took last week in uh, the OGR Tech Campus in uh, Turin. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna be doing a video about it at some point soon. So um, regarding creating titles in Caden Live, you can click, right click, and then click on add title clip and by default it's uh, assigned to control T. Now something super useful about this, you can see this is a proxy clip so it's a little bit uh, down resed, is that you can show the background. I think by default it's actually not set. So this is kind of like flying blind in my opinion. You don't know where to put your titles. So if you, tur if you turn that on, uh, it gets it's exponentially more useful. Now if I want to create a title, OGR Campus Turin, I can do so like this, and that'll create a you know title. Uh, it gets nested automatically within this folder. So you know I can just do it like this, and I'll fade into OGR Campus Turin, and maybe fade out of that title. Probably uh, black wasn't the best color to use against that background. And the nice thing is as well, after you've created your uh, clip, you can actually go back and edit it. So I can say, mm, black didn't really work so well. Let's try white this time and update title and that'll just update your file dynamically now i know this isn't like super advanced video editing but for basic effects it kind of gets the job done now that's how to do with static title but what about a typewriter effect title so i'm going to go back to my ogr uh, campus clip and when i click on the text there's a little uh tick box here that says typewriter effect now by the way i'm using Caden live on ubuntu linux and your options are within expansion mode here, you have by character, so it would be O, G, R, C, A, M, P, U, S, T, U, R, A, N. That would be pretty, um, that would look okay. So let me show you how that, that's gonna look. I'm gonna drag it back into my timeline. You can see it's typing one by one. Now that I think happened kind of a little bit too fast. So you can go back again and edit your, <coughs> edit your, now what you can do, the frame step is going to be how many frames elapse before each step, right? So that was two. So if I reduce the frame step to one, it's gonna be even quicker, right? It just, boom, it appears on one go. So each time there's a frame, I'm gonna put this frame count up to let's say seven. And this means that it's gonna be O, and then after seven frames G, after seven frames R, Etc. Etc. So let's try seven frames. Seven frame step. Now that's looking a bit slow. So you can just kind of play around with it and get it. But that's basically how you do it. There's a couple more options uh, within the typewriter effect options. You have variation options, seed options, and you can also do by character, by line, or by word. So let me show you what would happen if I do. Let's do by word and up the frame step to 15. So it's going to be OGR, 15 frames later, campus. 15 frames later, Turin, click on update title, and let's see how this looks. OGR, campus, Turin. So you can play around with those settings and hopefully get something that looks decent in your video and that has that kind of typewriter effect going on as your uh, footage, uh, something in your footage comes into view. Thank you guys for watching. More videos will be coming soon.